How can you navigate the social impact when you suddenly become wealthy? It's something that a lot of people have imagined about hitting. They believe that receiving a financial windfall, inheriting a sizable sum of money from a relative, or even winning the lottery will enable them to realize all of their dreams. They picture themselves exploring the world, taking beach vacations, sipping champagne under the clear sky as palm trees sway in the breeze, and relaxing on beaches. The reality of this unexpected prosperity, however, frequently becomes a nightmare. Those who want to get wealthy quickly typically experience tension and anxiety instead of joy and carefree feelings. Money drives a wedge between them and the people they once have a close relationship with, which negatively impacts their relationships. The newly wealthy will occasionally go on a crazy spending binge to console themselves. Sadly, this frequently makes matters worse. Their sudden wealth swiftly vanishes if money isn't as infinite as they believed, adding to their worry. Because of how frequently this happens, psychologists have named it the sudden wealth syndrome. Now, you could believe that you would be able to escape these issues if you were wealthy, or at the very least that you would relish the chance to try. However, anyone can experience the sudden wealth syndrome, so it's critical to be aware of the issue. In this manner, if you ever have a windfall, you'll be aware of the signs to look out for and how to avoid them. Effects on finances. Ironically, accumulating too much money too rapidly can damage your finances over time. Instead of building up their wealth gradually, those who earn big sums of money all at once frequently lack the skills necessary to handle it well. They're unsure of how much products cost or how much tax they should be paying. They simply believe they may spend as much as they like, and when they understand this is untrue, they frequently discover that they've lost the majority of their newly acquired wealth. This issue arises with a variety of financial contingencies, such as lottery winnings. A well-known 2010 research in the Review of Economics and Statistics examined over 35,000 lottery winners in Florida who received payouts between $50,000 and $150,000. It was discovered that more than 1,900 people had declared bankruptcy five years after receiving their prize. Due to this, the bankruptcy rate for Florida lottery winners was almost two times higher than that of typical Florida citizens. Inherited wealth. People who inherited inherit significant sums in their 20s, 30s, and 40s save barely half as much money. According to a 2012 study published in the Journal of Family and Economic Issues, they either squander the remaining money or invest poorly and lose it. Effects on emotions Even when people are financially capable of handling a windfall, they aren't necessarily able to handle it emotionally. Sudden prosperity frequently carries with it a variety of unfamiliar and unpleasant emotions, including shock. The newly wealthy find it difficult to accept that their wealth belongs to them. They may hesitate to share their fortune since they aren't entirely convinced of it. Uncertainty. They feel paralyzed by their sudden money rather than empowered. Even the simplest financial decisions are difficult for them to make. Guilt. They believe they don't deserve the money at all. They frequently observe how jealous people are of their sudden wealth, which leaves them feeling rejected and isolated. Anxiety. They worry that their recent financial windfall would somehow vanish just as quickly as it appeared. They frequently experience stock shock, as described by therapist Stephen Goldbart, where they become fixated on the stock market to make sure their recent windfall isn't depreciating. According to Goldbart, who frequently deals with the wealthy, the new rich frequently experience an identity crisis, particularly if they're still fairly young. They feel separated from their counterparts in the workforce because they're no longer required to work for a living. When their working lives have only just begun, they're unsure about how to consider themselves to be retired. On the other hand, those who become wealthy in their 40s and 60s typically handle it better, in part because it's common for people to become richer as they become older. Effects on relationships People in the life of the new rich frequently behave differently toward them, just as they start to feel uncertain about themselves. The newly wealthy feel lonely and isolated as their old friends fade away, and close friends and family members frequently resent their good money and treat them harshly or dismissively. In the meantime, new people in their lives start behaving friendlier and more compassionately. They often believe that these people are only interested in their money and are are not genuinely interested in them. Thus, instead of reducing their loneliness, this act of affection often makes it worse. Many times, your actions contribute to the issue. They now can enjoy travel and other things that some of their friends might not be able to. Most of the individuals they meet won't be able to drop everything and come along if they decide to go on vacation for a week in the Bahamas. The nouveau riche will occasionally make new connections with people who lead similar lifestyles to fill the hole in their lives. It can be challenging to determine whether these friendships are sincere or just opportunistic. How can you deal with sudden wealth? The aforementioned makes it seem as though becoming wealthy might be someone's worst case scenario rather than their greatest. It doesn't need to be that way. You can take precautions to safeguard
safeguard yourself if you're aware of the sudden wealth syndrome's warning indications and symptoms. Additionally, you can learn how to manage your newly found wealth such that it enhances rather than interferes with your life. Here are a few things you can do. Protect your wealth. When you earn a lot of money, the first thing you should learn is how to secure it so you don't lose it all. The experts advise that you remain composed, avoid making bad decisions, list your assets, make goals, employ a consultant, keep your information secure, restrict your access to cash, and adjust to your new wealth. Protect yourself emotionally. Taking it slow with your newly acquired wealth might benefit you personally and financially. Instead of trying to overnight assume a new persona, it lets you process your feelings about your new situation. You will be able to get over the unexpected wealth state with the help of the time you spend in the decision-free zone. You'll be able to go through your uncertainties and determine how to make financial decisions that support your values and aspirations. Your fear of losing your riches will be reduced as a result, and you'll start to believe that you truly deserve it. However, However, a lot of people want a bit more support to get over the emotional strain of becoming rich overnight. The majority of individuals experiencing the sudden wealth syndrome should seek therapy. With a professional's assistance, you can make this change much more easily than you can on your own. You can probably afford it after all. Protect your relationships. It's extremely important to protect your newly acquired wealth, but it's equally crucial to safeguard your interpersonal ties. According to experts, one of the biggest errors that wealthy individuals make is to distance themselves from those who were once close to them. They frequently do this out of a sense of insecurity and suspicion that everyone around them is only interested in their money. Regardless of the motivation, this conduct just breeds loneliness. Experts advise that you try to maintain tight relationships with your pals to avoid this issue. Take part in the same pastimes you've always had with them, whether it's a regular yoga session or a game of poker. Having long-standing friendships will keep you grounded, and being socially active will help you feel less stressed. It's crucial to avoid unintentionally alienating friends. When you find yourself suddenly wealthy, it's simple to go overboard and engage in spending habits that are difficult for your peers to imitate. You'll probably wind up leaving your buddies behind if you propose a vacation to Monte Carlo in place of that casual poker session. Finally, keep in mind that sharing riches in any way you wish is a pleasant gesture even if you don't have to give money to everyone who begs for it. For instance, in a BBC interview, former flight attendant turned entrepreneur Sandy Stein discusses how she accompanied one of her closest friends from her time working for airlines on a polar bear adventure. To show your true friends that you still care, make gestures like taking them on a trip or out for a social event. The lack of sympathy from others is one of the main issues for those with sudden wealth syndrome. It's difficult to believe that a neighbor who just won the jackpot may truly find it difficult to adjust to change if they're still on minimum wage. But that is the reality for many people. Many newly rich people are reluctant to discuss the issue with their friends and family because they believe they'll find it offensive. One of the most crucial things you can do for yourself if you're just starting with money is to acknowledge that it might be stressful and that it's good to require support in processing it. It's simpler to handle financial stress once you realize that earning money is a genuine source of financial strain. Don't be ashamed to talk to friends, and if required, seek therapy. Stressing out over financial success isn't any more shameful than stressing out over financial adversity. Do you know anyone who experienced stress as a result of sudden wealth? If you want to avoid making financial mistakes with your sudden wealth, you might want to watch this video next.